Hello, and here it is right here. Roll up, roll up, everybody gather, come and join. Uh, that's usually my introduction for the live sessions. So hello and welcome to the channel is what I should say, which is what I usually do for video clips. So, uh, so, so a bit of conflation there somewhere. Uh, but uh, hello and welcome back to the channel is what I am saying. Uh, but uh, very quickly to it, we are going to the TB Joshua. Uh, there's no rest for the wicked and the wicked have no rest. Depending on how you are choosing to look at it, of course, a fire got the burial site of this now uh, once a uh, venerated uh, man of God. So man of God, uh, a term loosely used within the Nigerian space. A man of God, of course, I share the screen with you so you can read along with me. Pardon me. I share the screen with you so you can read along with me as I read to you. So here it is right here. Fire God TB Joshua's property destroys tomb shelter. So there it is right there. There's a lot of occulticism and fetishism uh, are wrapped around this guy's name. Uh, true or false is subject to your deep dive into that space. So I have, I only have a cursory, a cursory, rather I should say, I only have a, a cursory understanding of this guy and the space that he occupies. But what I understand of him, I recoil from it somewhat because I find the narrative of the guy, of the guy somewhat too fetish for my understanding. But my understanding is very loose, so please don't hang anything on that. But this headline only goes to, only goes to embellish whatever prejudices I have about this guy. So here it is. Fire got TB Joshua's property destroys tomb shelter. So let's find out exactly what happened. Fire has destroyed the tomb shelter of the late founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet Temetokwe Joshua, in Agodo area of Oikotun, Lagos State. Correspondents gather that the fire started around 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday. A resident who spoke on the condition of anonymity said no one could tell if anybody died in the incident. He said, the affected property is on Aji Sibiri Street in Agodo. The house started burning around 6.30 p.m., and as I speak with you, fire service officials are still trying to put out the fire. The, the compound of the house is big, so nobody can see what they are doing inside. Also, officials putting out the fire did not allow anybody inside. The Acting Coordinator National Emergency Management Agency, Ibrahim Farin Loye, who also confirmed the incident, said the fire had been put out. He said, the incident happened at a building belonging to the late pastor. So let me just click this. This is a, I'm glad you can see this, but this is what we have to contend with sometimes. All of these adverts are cutting across a piece. So he said, the incident happened at a building belonging to the late pastor. The late pastor usually went there to relax and meditate. Federal fire service officials moved in to put out the fire. He had legal state fire and rescue services, Margaret Adesheye, said the fire affected the shelter covering the late pastor's tomb. She said, it is confirmed that a section around the tomb of the late Pastor T.B. Joshua caught fire. A shelter was built to cover the tomb because it is an open space. So it was the shelter that caught fire, but we were able to curtail it and it did not spread beyond where it started. We have yet to identify the cause of the fire. So there it is right there. They are yet to identify the cause of the fire, but I'm pretty certain then that all the... So let me remove that from the screen. So they are, they are yet to identify the cause of the fire. 
but I'm pretty sure that all of the Hallelujah merchants, they already have a million and one, if not a billion and 10 billion reasons why that fire was caused. It is this, uh, voodoo thing that is coming to revisit him. It is the principalities of the principal office that came to yam yam and this that, that you know how they are in that space everything occultic and everything fetish so there it is right there uh so 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 there it is right there um oh, oh sorry i just got a text uh from uh, one of my uh so it was actually uk uh for those of you who follow me saying that they've not seen me uh on the screens for uh, at least in the live stream for a while so uh, you've not seen me in live stream for a while, as you can probably uh, guess from the depth of my voice that I'm still carrying the remnants of a flu. So I've been knocked out by the flu for, for like a couple of days. I thought I'd shaken it off, but the pesky little thing refuses to leave me. But it's nothing at all to the level of TB Joshua, who now the principalities that he got his power from are coming to attack him in the grave. The principalities that he got his powers from are coming to attack him in the grave as I bring you this next headline. So let me share this screen with you as well. So the principalities that uh, he got his powers from are coming to attack him in the grave. So now the response from his space, uh, synagogue fire, we are yet to confirm cause of outbreak, says S-C-O-A-N. So that is his, uh, the name, the acronym for his organization, S-C or synagogue. I don't, I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's a nonsense to me, all of it. I'm not in that space. I, do it, I just find them laughable. And if you are in that space, then you've surrendered your life yeah, essentially to somebody else. So synagogue fire, we are yet to confirm cause of outbreak says S-C-O-A-N. So there is the opportunist right there, a lot of fetishism attributed to this element. A synagogue church of all nations yesterday said it had yet to ascertain the cause of the fire outbreak on Wednesday at its old site, Agodo, Agodo Egbe, two kilometers, from SCOAN headquarters, Cathedral. It said the fire had since been put out and assured the public that a review was ongoing, stating that there was no need for panic or unnecessary speculations. In a statement, SCAON said the fire affected a general purpose store whilst there were no injuries or lives lost. The statement was titled, Fire Outbreak at Synagogue Church of All Nations All Site. We are on top of the situation, it reads. On the evening of, on the evening of Wednesday, April the 27th, 2022, a fire outbreak occurred at the old site of SCOAN located at Agodo Egbe, uh, about two kilometers from SCOAN headquarters cathedral. The fire outbreak was from a general purpose store at the old site and had been successfully put out through the efforts of the ministry's emergency response team with no injuries whatsoever and no lives lost. Currently, the cause of the fire is unknown. To this end, we wish to assure our esteemed members, partners, and friends of the ministry that we are on top of the situation. There is no need for panic or unnecessary speculation. So there is no need for panic or, yes, but unnecessary speculation, forget it all, because we are already speculating and we are not even involved. So imagine then the people involved in this space. I can only then go to all the Christian spaces now to hear all these sort of uh, vesperations and whatnot that they throw at this particular incident. We carry on. As sons and daughters of love, we shall continually uphold the assurances of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ 
who has conquered the world for our sake. It urged the public to please disregard any alarmist news aimed at creating panic amongst church members in particular and the general public. We are no longer slaves to fear. We are the children of God, Emmanuel. So there it is right there, Emmanuel. So I think that is their clarion call in that uh, cult, you know, but there it is right there. God takes his own. This is the thing. All, all of the things that these people do, Jesus Christ, our PLC, in the name of God Limited, bring me your daughter so I can use them for, for my delectation sexually and then sacrifice them for more powers. All of these things that goes on in that space. So the visitations of it now, it, you will burn in your grave, is what people say. You will burn in your grave, is what people say. But is that what is playing out now? Is this element now burning in his grave? Is the question. Come give answers to this in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry the conversation within the comment section. But here, I say, peace.